Hey guys, I'm back with the next installment in my top five series and today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite items and that is my top five favorite nude lipsticks. I have done a previous top five MAC lipsticks that did include some nude lipsticks. So this is going to be non-MAC. I had to make sure that I had gotten it correctly. Yeah, this is all non-MAC. So I'm going to show you those today and surprise, surprise, three of my five are drugstore, which I mean, I don't mean it surprise, surprise. It's just a lot of times I don't find that my favorite products are from the drugstore. So let's get started with those. Sorry that I touched my eye. That's probably a little awkward, but something was in it. Okay. First off is the Sonia Kashuk Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color in Sheer Pink Lust, number 21. I've had this for a little while. This is what the product looks like. It does come with a little lip balm at the bottom. I think I've touched that once. It's just not really something I want to use. But the color at the end depicts what the color on the inside looks like. And I'll show you for reference. It's fairly close, so if you're in the store. I have seen a few people online compare this to Tom Ford's Spanish Pink in color. This is kind of a peachy nude. Yeah, that's showing up pretty true. I'm looking in a mirror and comparing it. That's what it looks like. And I really like the little more sheer, shiny, glossy kind of lipsticks. I just think they're the prettiest. That's my kind of look. Um, if in the fall time, I guess I do want a more vampy color to be a little more matte and opaque or just opaque. But for these kind of colors, that's my favorite. This is probably my favorite. It's what I'm wearing today. It is Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in 105 Demure. And this is more around a peachy nude. Sorry, a pinky nude. It does have some glimmer. It looks like in the bullet it would have chunks of glitter, but it's not that way. And that's what you can see in both of these are that sheer kind of shiny, glossy look. It definitely has a little bit of shimmer, but it's not like chunks of glitter like a 12-year-old girl would wear. So, but the Spanish pink, I actually think this looks better than Spanish pink. I'm sure the texture is different. Honestly, Tom Ford lipsticks, I like them. They're not my favorite product of his, and I do like the texture of the Sonia Kashuk one. So, if you've been wanting Spanish pink, it's definitely worth picking up that. Okay, next is, this one is so beat up. It's the Maybelline Color Whisper and Lust for Blush. And this is definitely more of a pinky, mauve kind of nude. But it still serves the same purpose as a nude in my mind. So you can see this is more of like a nude pink, and this is more of a pink nude, and this is more of a peachy nude. Okay, next up, the two higher ends. The next one is from the brand Jouer, which you don't hear a whole lot of people talk about on YouTube. And this is the color Olivia. And it is definitely more of a peachy nude. However, I mean, it's still in the nude category. I mean, you could have a true nude, you could have a pink nude, you could have a peachy nude, or a brown nude. This one is a lot more peach. It has more color. It, it more resembles the Sonia Kashuk, but not to say it's a dupe by any means. The Sonia Kashuk one looks like it has the most color overall. I guess it's more of a peachy brown nude. But they're all still, you know, they're nudes. Okay, and this one, I hope they still make it. I know Marc Jacobs recently revamped his lipstick line and I'm pretty sure they still do. If they don't, I'm so sorry. It is from the Lip Gel line in Moody Margot. It's when it was in the black packaging. The number is 106. And this is more of a true pale nude, as you can tell. And this is one Honestly, any of these would be perfect if you were doing a smoky eye of, you know, just more of a full-on eyeshadow look and you'd want it to be 
a little more low key with your lip products. But that is more of just a true nude. And MAC makes plenty of perfect nudes. I will link that video down below because some of those are definitely worth checking out. But I wanted to show you my top five favorite nudes that weren't MAC. It wouldn't be me if I didn't show you this. This is limited edition, so it's an honorable mention because I don't even know if it's possible to find it. But in case any of you are watching and you still have it, this may inspire you to pull it out or remind you. It's the brand Erin, and it's the lipstick in Garden Path. Oh, this is my favorite nude. I wear it in quite a few videos, and I'll get compliments on my lip color. The um, recent video where I was wearing the really smoky eye, this was the lip product I was wearing. And I almost feel bad sometimes wearing it. This is what it looks like. It is more opaque than all the others. I'm looking at it to see if there's any of them are identical. I can't see any that are. Um, if I can find a dupe in my collection to Garden Path, I will let you know. But I don't think there is one because I've been wearing it for a few years now. Okay. Sonia Kashuk Sheer Pink Lust. Revlon. No. Yeah, Revlon Demure. It looks so much peachy compared to Lust for Blush. Maybelline Lust for Blush Color Whisper. Jouer Olivia, Marc Jacobs Mar Moody Margot, and Erin Garden Path. So, if that gives you a... I mean, they're all, they're all so beautiful, but they're so different. I love my nudes. That's just definitely my comfort zone. I have a lot of nudes I like. These are just my favorites that I know I can pull and go to every day. The demure that I'm wearing, it is just the easiest slap on and go colors. You don't need them mirror to apply. The Sony Kashuk is the same one and the Maybelline. If you want to pick up any of them from the video, I definitely suggest looking at the three drugstores because they're the most affordable and they're really great nude products. I love them. And this, like I said, it has more pink, the Lust for Blush. So if you like that more MAC Angel cream cup kind of look, go for that one. But they're all really pretty. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite nude lipsticks down below. I may have them or I may want to check them out. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions of what you would want me to do for my next top five, tell me down below. I would love to take suggestions from you. And that is all. I will see you guys later. Bye.